Hey guys, Oblivion234 here with another Elder Scrolls Legends video. Today we're going to be just playing some... <coughs> oh, pardon me, casual. Uh, yep, we're trying out this new Slay deck. I'm going to be trying to modify it, perfect it, maybe see what it needs by testing against poor, helpless victims. I mean, I know one thing it needs, and that's the next thing I'm up to get. It needs the Night Mother from uh, the last act of the Dark Brotherhood. Ooh, nice. Uh, we keep Ungolim, of course. He's our best turn one play. So, yeah, of course we keep him. Eh, okay. Uh, I can get this as an easy trade here, so I don't have to worry about it sniping one of my creatures later. This is uh, this is one of the most annoying cards to face against, just because it's so it's because it's RNG based. You should have went face there, because uh, you should have went face and yeah. Yeah, we'll just throw down a Dark Guardian here. It's a good card. It's actually a really good card. There's a lot of good cards from the Dark Brotherhood expansion. Or, excuse me, story. It is technically an expansion, too. That's... That's fine. You've played the Dark Brotherhood. <laughs> That's also from the Dark Brotherhood. It's quite good. There you go. Have fun. Can't get through both. Not without using something else. But even then, he's committing more resources to killing two things. Wow. Fun. That's cool. Uh, yeah, I think we just... We're just going to throw down a little girl over there. Oh, it's a little girl. What's it gonna do? Kill you? Maybe. That's fine. Honestly, he shouldn't have played that over there. Uh... We take the trade. We take the trade because he'll do it if we don't. So, yeah, we have a good trade here. If he doesn't trade, and this guaranteedly survives uh, his death rattle. Okay, that's going face then. Okay. Um, we do that first. I know, eyes. We might get some problems. See, survives. Uh, we'll put that there. It essentially forces him to trade. Okay, that's fine. He's wasting a wounded off on a creature that's not even that important. Okay, man, he's just unwilling, <clears throat> unwilling to trade. How about a bum? Whisper your need to the me scales. There you go. Have fun doing with dealing with that. He can double trade again, but then he loses his board, and I have a creature. You still have to... That is annoying. Uh, 
That can be helpful. Cool. There we go. What are you gonna do now? Any creature you play is gonna get killed. And then I'm gonna get, if it gets killed by him, I'm gonna get two creatures back. Gets killed by him, he gets big. Okay, that's scary. Never mind. We're only doing one. I still, I wanna do damage, but I don't want him to draw more cards then. Because, especially not with this. Shall we put in a dishonest day's work? Hello, Bernhoff. Okay. Hail to That's fine. He can gain the extra magicka, but at this point that really doesn't matter. We'll find a way that matters, though. I can he should have... Unless that's something he wanted rallied. We'll no, he should have tra... Uh, yeah. Unfortunately, we probably lose because he drew that. Yeah, unfortunately, he drew literally three leg or two legendaries in a row after we cleared his board, and yeah. So what do you do? Okay. Still gonna draw a card here. Okay, I can silence that, which is useful. He shouldn't have left that up, he should have traded it in. We get a double slay here, so we're going to grab A, a Territorial Viper, B, a Fighter's Guild Recruit. Or maybe a Sanctuary Pet. I could just grab a 5-5 five, five Drain, but uh, Sanctuary Pet's better. That's why he should have traded that in. He shouldn't have left that. He shouldn't have left his thing in to be traded, because that just essentially wins me the game if he doesn't deal a way to deal with most of my board. Not too much I could kill that if I want to. Okay, that's literally fine. I don't care at this point. I got what I needed. I have a 5-5 five, five with Drain now. Gain me more Magicka. Kill that. We're not going to give him another card, because we, we're we going to want to uh, hit him when we can next turn. Okay, that's whatever, that's fine. Let's see? Perfect. Eight. Six. It's not lethal, but it's close. It's, it's lethal this turn. 
Uh, the reason we don't hit him for a lot there is sure he could throw something down for what he draws, but if we leave him alive after in the last turn, Okay, prophecy. That's fine. Like I said, I can just bring back, like, say, this Viper and Sage of the Vampire. So, okay. There we go. Easy. Whew. He made a mistake, which won us the game. Oh, nice. Heh. <laughs> Lol. Easy. Ooh, we earned a title. He is lethal to kill 200 creatures. 20 gold, that's nice. I already have one of those, so it's just free. Uh, I already have three of those, so it's just free. Soul sh stones, or whatever, soul gems. Oh, maybe I didn't have three of them. Okay, whatever. Then it's just a card I didn't have. Cool. 420 gold. Okay, that was a good first game. <laughs> easy enough, easy enough. Not easy enough, actually. We would have lost if he played that correctly. Okay, we're first. Um, that's a more aggressive deck. I'll keep the Dark Guardian just because it's really good. Sanctuary Pet's also good, and Territorial Viper is good. Because uh, typically, I'm an angel unglobe. <laughs> he's really good turn one. I mean, he's he's not as good other. T that's 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 so. That is indeed a one-two scuttler that cannot get through that and will never get through that unless you buff it or have another creature. So, thanks for the no damage. <laughs> Uh, we drop Dark Guardian next turn, probably in the same lane. Uh, depends on what he plays. Three mana. Four. Mighty ally. Okay, please get a no. Okay, perfect. We'll drop a Dark Guardian in that lane. <laughs> yep. Uh, actually... <laughs> Having fun. Nice. We get us. Uh, we can slay that next turn. We can slay that next turn too. You know, it's not not changing much here, other than the fact that I take three damage. Well, I mean, I would have taken three damage anyways. Well, hello. Um, yeah, we'll still just throw down a Dark Guardian there. Hail to Sivis. <laughs> okay. That's why I threw down something else. Uh, oh, we can deal with him next turn. Man, I wish I had enough mana to play both of those. Uh, well, this is for sure going face. Uh, 
So the question is, is do we play, I think we play this over here because that way we can uh, start getting some more magicka, get us really ahead. This gives us plus two max magicka when we kill something with it, so that'll put us two turns ahead for each creature we kill. Yes, that is worth doing that. Your scuttler is not very useful now, is it? Okay, now we got one of those in each lane. How fun. Okay, I don't like that. I don't like it so much I'm going to use my viper to kill it. <laughs> Bye. Cool. Ah. I love the smell of dead opponents in the morning. I mean, he could definitely come back. Well, that's good enough. Yeah, I honestly don't care where the buff lands on this. I would have preferred on my Slayer, but... <laughs> this is good for now. We have a commanding board state, so... There's not much you can do. I mean... Sure... That's kind of scary, since I can't just hit it with that, because unfortunately if they're dead, the slay for plus, he shouldn't have played that though. Still shouldn't have played that. Because this always happens. And we go Sanctuary Pet. Eh. <laughs> this guy's cool though. The emoting. Okay. I mean, we. Oh, gotcha. I take on my clan, you take on me. He should buff that. He shouldn't have buffed that. There's no point. It already kills this. Okay, so... This is gonna happen. We're gonna sum back that. Which is gonna kill this. I forgot. I... Mm, wrong order. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I was going to say, uh, other order, and I would have been a bit happier. That would have been better. And Actually, this deck isn't even as good as it could be. I'm missing a few legendaries that I would like to include. But... Yep. It's pretty good so far. I have a pretty high win weight with it. I, w I wish you could check your win weight with a deck. But I don't think you can unless you have some sort of tracker. Okay, okay, let's see what we got here. We go second. I'm not going to keep the Viper. I'll keep the Dark Guardian though. It's a good option. Uh, the recruit's okay. So is adoring fan. It's just good. It's just nice to put him in the lane, and then he comes back, and he keeps coming back every so often, which is just use useful. Hail, 
Uh, not worth pointing this out. People, people who do that typically are over aggressive because it is so much better as a as a play in a lane where your opponents played something, and if they don't have a way to deal with it, they're they lose whatever they just played. Uh, also, I'm fine pointing that out because I have a good three or a good two. Okay. Now the question is, what do I play here? I could coin out this. I think I just play this and call it good. Because, like I said, if he doesn't deal with it, he loses that, and then I hit him in the face for three. If he does deal with it, I hit him in the face for three anyways. <laughs> and gain three life, because he's trading. Though it does unfortunately mean his guy survives. He doesn't have a way to deal with it. What do you know? Uh, next turn. Okay, I'll just trade with that. I'll I'll take I'll take a trade. Easy turn to get down our armor. So now suddenly everything we play is a lot bigger threats, and we can drop two threes next turn. So we can drop a Dory fan and Dark Guardian if we need to. Okay, that can put an Atronarch. Atronarchs are scary. Okay, that's annoying, but ooh, uh, like I said, I think we dropped two here. Let's see if we. This just guarantees my armor survives. He actually can't kill the Adoring Fan if he trades into the 2 7. Uh, next turn, we can drop either the Hist Mage or the Venom Tongue or the Ancestral Dead, even. Whew. Okay. Like I said, he has to commit additional resources. Uh, we'll drop the Venom Tongue. This is actually a pretty good card. Yeah. Ooh, nice. I mean, I guess we have time to put this down, but... Yeah, that's probably the card play. <laughs> it encourages him to trade, but I mean, I don't honestly care. We have enough Magicka now to play almost anything in my deck. He definitely should trade if he can't kill this. Okay. Never mind. He shouldn't have traded then. <laughs> Just saying. That wasn't that was not the best play. Uh Yeah, we're just gonna prevent some, prevent some damage. Uh, I wish I could kill that, but not much I can do. Ancestral Dead's good next turn. Ooh, that's really good. Never mind. That's... Uh, unfortunately, I don't have much in the way of direct damage. That's good. Uh, honestly, I don't think it matters too much where we play that. That is where we drop that, though. <laughs> okay. We're going to take some damage here. Nothing I could do with that do about it but I do have a bit of a board state so that's good I don't know why you trade there yeah I, I literally don't know why he's trading uh, that he just missed 
7 damage to face. Okay, he's just going to shackle that. Yep. Okay. Yeah, honestly, at this point, he's so much ahead that I, there's very little I could draw that would actually make it so I don't lose this game. I'm fairly confident I lose this game here. As I mean what? I throw down this, and this, and that's about it. I don't know, like, I don't know what else I do. That's just going to kill my Khajiit Brawler, or Khajiit Burglar. Of course he has all three of his sheer point dragons. <laughs> Honestly, at this point he should probably, uh... He shouldn't hit me with rest, yeah, I was gonna say. Can I carry your sure you do. That blocks two damage. This blocks a minimum of... This can block quite a few damage as well, so... I mean, we're probably not dead here. This blocks... If that blocks two, and that blocks eight... <laughs> we're not dead, if that's what the case. Okay, that doesn't matter, the shackle's pointless. Oh, never mind, it blocks five. Uh, eight, nine, ten. I mean, it's lethal as long as I don't draw, like, uh, a prophecy, I think. That'll be useful. Do your worst. Okay. Yeah. Whatever. We're. I think we're dead this turn. Yeah, we couldn't stick aboard because of these three stupid dragons, which he of course had all three, and I didn't draw any of my removal until now, so. That almost would have saved me if it had been a next hound. But I don't even run one. Yeah. Honestly, nothing I could do there. I played what I had. He just got lucky and had literally per the perfect thing to deal with me, which was a whole bunch of dragons that just killed my guys and I couldn't do anything. Yay, my slaughter fish is upgraded. Huzzah. Well, there's definitely some tuning I need in this deck. I have a lot of card draw, actually, but I think more, more is always good. <laughs> but I need to acquire some more cards. But that'll wait until after I acquire the Night Mother. But, uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, leave a like. If you really loved it, subscribe. Oblivion234, out.